Hey, Emily. Are you busy at work right now? Not really. It's been slow all day. What's up? My company might ask you to make another design for them. Do you think you would be able to do it? Yes, of course. I'd be glad to. The order might take some time to come through, though. I think the designs you make would fit perfectly with this next project. Do you know what type of project it will be? Not yet. They said they'll let me know the details in a week or so. Oh, okay. Will you be in charge of this project too? Yeah, of course I will. It would give you more peace of mind that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's very true. Thank you for using my designs again. Everyone in the company loves them. They're even still talking about the last project you worked on. Really? That's great. By the way, does anyone at your job know that we're getting married? Some of them do, but they don't really know you personally. I'm the only one who contacts you about work, so they don't really know too much about you at all except that they like your designs. Oh, that makes sense. I'll probably still see some of them at the wedding though, right? Wow. I can't believe we've known each other for like two years now. Isn't that right? That's when you first did an outside order for us. Yep. The fact that you were in charge of that one was like fate. I can't believe it's already been two years. I didn't think I'd ever get engaged to a designer outside of the company. <laughs> Neither did I. I even promised myself I wouldn't mix romance with my work life. It was completely unexpected. Is that how attractive I am? <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to try and ask you out. That really surprised me back then. It was love at first sight. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I just had to ask you out. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you did, too. Speaking of going out, you know that new ice skating rink that just opened nearby? Oh, my gosh. The one next to the aquarium? You always know how to plan a date. I'm so excited. And speaking of planning, we probably should start thinking about planning the wedding and stuff, right? I was thinking we could have the wedding next summer. What do you think? That sounds perfect. That's right around your birthday. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, I also want to meet your parents. Uh... I'm so busy with work here, I don't think I'd be able to go back home to visit anytime soon. What about next month? If not, the month after that? My parents are going on a trip the month after next. They said it's a long trip, so they've been busy getting ready for it. I think they're going somewhere like Jamaica for a couple months. Oh. I'm sorry. We can go when the time is better for everyone. I kind of noticed that you always turn me down when I ask to see your parents. When will I be able to meet them? I'd like to meet them sooner than later. I'm not turning you down because I want to. They're really busy. The timing is just bad. If they weren't so busy, you would have met them already. Maybe if you asked some time last month. I'm pretty sure I did. You said they were attending a funeral out of town. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Anyway, you'll meet them eventually. It will 100% happen before the wedding. We're just bad with timing. <laughs> I guess. I hope I didn't make you feel too bad. I'm sorry. I'll make sure you meet them soon. Okay. But how many times have we had this conversation? I know. But I tell my parents about you all the time. They already know so much about you. Really? They've never met you, but they already love you. They've been saying they can't wait to meet you. And they're always talking about how beautiful you are and how cute their grandkids will be. <laughs> so, you're not the only one. They're really excited to get to meet you too. For real? Aww, I'm really happy to hear that. Your parents are so sweet. I want you to meet them too. More than anything. I want them to see how amazing you are in real life. Because you're the one I love the most. Really? Stop, you're making me blush. <laughs> Emily, 
You're the only person in the entire world who I love this much. Nothing will ever change that. I want you to know how much I love you. So don't worry, okay? Okay, okay, you can stop now. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> That's cute. I only see people say that kind of stuff in romance novels. It's kind of embarrassing to say it in person, I'll admit. But it's definitely easier to say it over text. <laughs> but anyways, my point is, I just want you to believe me. Okay. Sorry for doubting you. I can't wait to see them. I love you. I love you too. Are you home? Kyle? I was just about to text you. There's a little girl at my door. She won't stop ringing the doorbell. I'm kind of worried. Should I call the police? I'm the one ringing the doorbell. What? You're not Kyle? Why do you have his phone? I took Daddy's phone. Please open the door and let me in. Daddy? This is Kyle's phone, right? I don't get it. What are you talking about? Who are you? Please, help my mommy. If I don't get help, something bad will happen to my baby brother. Huh? Baby brother? My little brother. He's still inside mommy's tummy. Is Kyle your daddy? Are you his daughter? Yes. There's no way. We're getting married. He doesn't have a wife or child. I know. My mommy knows too. You know? I don't understand. He never told me about him having a child. He's always honest with me. But anyways, why are you here to see me? You're the only one who can help. Please. What do you mean? I'm coming to open the door now. Tell me everything. Good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? You're off today, right? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. Can we talk later? Oh, really? What's up? Something bad happened. I'll text you when things calm down. Oh, did it? Hmm... I think I know exactly what happened. Did your wife and child go missing? Are you trying to find out where they went? What do you know? I guess you can be a decent person sometimes. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? I don't have a wife or a child. Where is all of this coming from? Oh, don't even bother with all the pretending. Pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. You're the only one I love, and you know that. Uh-huh. Sure. I would never cheat on you. We're getting married next year, for God's sakes. Alice. Does that name ring a bell? What? That's your daughter's name, isn't it? Or what about Rachel? Sound familiar? That's your wife's name. You can stop playing dumb now. I already know everything. How did you... You... You saw her? You saw Alice? Scroll up in the conversation. Alice used your phone last night to text me. What? Alice went to your house by herself? In the middle of the night? My phone was here the whole time, though. She went back to your house to get it while you were sleeping. What even happened last night? What's going on? My doorbell kept ringing in the middle of the night. It was like 12 a.m. I tried to text you, but Alice took your phone and decided to use it to text me. She came to me asking for help. What do you mean, help? Alice told me everything. You have a wife and child, and your wife is even pregnant with her second child. Plus, you're a terrible father who raises his hand against his own wife. You've hit her multiple times. Now, hold on. All right, I guess I can't hide the fact that I'm married. But I would never raise my hand against someone. 
ever. Especially not Rachel. That is outrageous. Are you saying Alice is lying? Of course she's lying. That's the only thing that little girl is good at. She wanted to make me look bad, so she made all that up. Plus, you don't have any evidence that I hit her. She's been quite rebellious lately. If my father was cheating on my mother, I'd feel the same way. That might be true. But you can't believe what Alice says. She's making everything up because she just wants attention. What else did she tell you? She said even though her mother is pregnant and sick, you won't allow her to rest. You leave all the housework and cooking to her, and you don't even try to help. You'd come home and go straight back on the road to take me out on dates. Ugh. And while you're out having fun, she keeps getting weaker and weaker, and that's putting the baby in danger. She said she and Rachel are scared of you. That's all nothing but lies. Alice is always trying to make me out to be the bad guy. I don't know what's wrong with that kid. But Rachel was really in a terrible state when I got there. She was extremely thin and her face was pale. She could barely breathe. If I took her to the hospital, even a minute later, the baby would have been at risk. You took her to the hospital? Last night, I went to your house with Alice. You were fast asleep, of course. I was shocked to find Rachel lying on the ground in pain. I took her to the hospital without a second thought. You came here. You broke into my house in the middle of the night. And you took my wife without telling me. You don't seem to care that your pregnant wife was fighting for her life on your kitchen floor. Besides, how would telling you change anything? You're the reason why she was like that in the first place. If anything, telling you probably would have made the situation worse. You would have probably tried to stop me, and you could have probably even lost her and the baby that very night. She needs to be as far away from you as possible. No, you can't do this. What do you mean, no? Her body was covered in bruises. She could barely walk to the car. I had to be carrying her most of the way. We'll be getting a diagnostic report from the doctor. That will prove that you've been hitting her. You asked for evidence earlier. There it is. Evidence? What do you even need evidence for? I'm sure we'll need it pretty soon. She'll need to take it to court so she can receive alimony and custody of Alice from you when she gets the divorce. What? Divorce? Why is she divorcing me? What did you tell her about me? With all you've done, of course she's going to divorce you. That much should be obvious. What? Are you upset about having to divorce her? Then what did you get engaged to me for? Were you planning on being married to two women at the same time? Uh, well, I mean... It's fine. I get it. You didn't even want to marry me in the first place. That's why you would never bring me to meet your parents, no matter how much I asked. It all makes sense now. So what? Was I your backup plan? In case anything happened to Rachel? No, absolutely not. I was really planning to divorce her eventually. But I was going to wait until after the baby was born. Oh, really? You were planning on leaving your wife to raise a newborn by herself. Okay. Well, it's fine. I don't want to marry you anymore anyways. Why not? You were so excited. You were happy when I proposed. Are you for real? Or are you drunk? What do you mean, why not? Do you realize what you've done? First of all, you have an entire family that I didn't know about. That's a good enough reason. But you're also abusive. You think I'd want to marry someone who hits their wife? You must be joking. What if you hit me next? I didn't hit her. Oh, really? I'd love to hear how she got all those bruises then. Like I said, the doctor will be providing evidence once he's done with the report. You were controlling and abusing your family. That's why neither Rachel nor Alice was able to stand up to you. Because you'd either hit them or verbally abuse them. 
They were terrified. And if you were okay with hitting Rachel, I can't even think about what you'd do to poor little Alice. You're absolute trash. Just believe me. Emily. It's a misunderstanding. It's really not what you think it is. Enough of the excuses. The state I found Rachel in has said enough. Rachel was just admitted to the hospital. We also got the diagnostic report. There's been multiple bruises linked to trauma caused by a blunt object. So not only were you hitting her with your hands, you've been using things to beat her with too. You are the literal worst. Which hospital? You have to tell me. No way. You must be out of your mind. That's the same as kidnapping, you know. I'm calling the police. We're the ones who should be calling the police on you. I asked my parents to prepare a lawyer for me. If you want to fight, I'm ready. You got a lawyer. Overreacting as usual. It's not even that serious. If you just told me which hospital you're at, we wouldn't even need to go through all this. My parents are well off. They've got connections. Now that I think about it... I'm sure you were after my parents' money anyways. You never loved me. You were probably just using me. Who knows? You probably had a third woman somewhere along the way. You piece of garbage. Shut the hell up. Excuse me? You're not going to get away with this. Give my wife and child back. They're mine. You stole them from me. You're just terrible all around, huh? You're probably the worst man I've ever involved myself with. They have their own lives. They don't belong to you. I'm not going to let you destroy their lives any further. I'm bringing them back home. I'm serious. They don't have anywhere else to go. It's no use. Don't waste your energy. My lawyer has contacted a shelter for them. When Rachel gets out of the hospital, they are going to protect her and Alice. And they're going to make sure you don't ever find them. What? You can't do that. Why are you doing so much for them? Why do you care so much? You don't even know them. It doesn't matter. I still feel bad that I was involved in this affair. I want to make up for it as much as I can. Plus, I could never just leave them to suffer with you. I'm actually a decent human being, unlike you. Oh, right. You're not innocent either. What you did was terrible, too. You were dating a married man. You were involved, too, so you should stay away from Alice, too. Did you really just say that to me? You're acting like it's my fault that you decided to cheat on your wife. How was I supposed to know you had a whole family? I trusted you. Besides, I'd still be better for Alice than you could ever be. I would never hurt Alice. Are you trying to play hero? Who do you think you are? Cut the crap. You're just the side chick, and you deserve that position. You'll never be more than that. Ah, I see you're finally starting to show your true colors. You completely fooled me. I can't believe I was so stupid. I wonder if Rachel was fooled just like I was and ended up marrying you. That poor lady. You probably even had countless affairs during the past ten years since Alice was born. Don't even get me started on Alice. I can't believe she would leave the house without telling me. Why doesn't she ever listen to me? Rachel did such a terrible job raising that little brat. All Alice did was try to protect her mother and the baby. From you! Ugh, this is why I hate women. What?! You women are supposed to obey men. All you have to do is listen to what we say and we wouldn't ever get into situations like this. You all spend your whole lives depending on men. You can't live without us. Wow, this is absolutely unbelievable. God, you're so disgusting. I didn't know you were this much of a monster. In case you didn't realize, the engagement is off. I never want to see your face again. 
You're not the one to decide. If we break up, I'll be the one to do it. Oh, really? Who gives you the right? I said we're over, so we're over! Scumbag! What? Alice has something she needs to tell you. I'm giving the phone to her. Don't say anything too terrible to her, or I'll be the one tracking you down. Daddy! I'm sorry I left without telling you. Alice, what on earth do you think you're doing? Do you like making me angry? Is this fun for you or something? I'm not doing this for fun. I'm going to protect Mommy from you from now on. I hate you. I wish you would disappear and leave us alone. I hope we never ever see you again. And I hope you never find happiness for the rest of your life. What? Alice! How dare you speak to your father like that? You're not my father anymore! I don't have a father! I don't need one! Alice, tell me where you are right now. I'm coming to get you. Goodbye! Alice! You heard her. Sorry, but that's that. Wait! Alice is still there, isn't she? Give her the phone right now. She said she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Just give up. She's lost all respect for you. What is her problem? She's nothing but a rude little brat. She's got some nerve talking to her father like that. What Alice did was so brave, and I'm extremely proud of her. There's certain things you can only say over text, right? What's there to be proud of? She's disrespectful and disobedient. Let me see her. I'll have to show her some discipline. She'll never get away with talking to me like that. Stay away from her. You're a dangerous person who shouldn't be near any woman or child. And if it's anything I can do, I'll make sure you never see either Rachel or Alice ever again. You're a criminal. I hope Rachel can squeeze you for every penny she deserves. Shut up. Don't think you can talk like that just because your family is rich. And the only thing you got going for you is your mediocre looks. You're whiny and annoying, and no man is ever going to want to be with you. Your only option is to spend the rest of your life kissing up to men who won't ever give you the time of day. You're lucky that you have me. You'll never get that kind of love again for the rest of your life. Are you trying to insult me? That's funny. You're trying to get sued or something? Did you forget I have a lawyer? Besides, literally any man I find on the street would be a thousand times better than your sorry ass. Everything is Alice's fault. If it weren't for that little brat. No, it's literally your fault. If only you just acted like a real man and cared for your family, none of this would have happened. Coming to me for help must have been a really hard thing for her to do. Even so, she did it to protect her mother and her baby brother. Alice is very brave for someone so young. You could learn a thing or two from her. You're just on her side because you're a woman. You always think you can overpower men by banding together. Women are always like that. So petty. You're the petty one. Trying to hold down someone who's smaller than you. You can only act tough to those smaller than you anyways. That's not true. How dare you? All right then. You want to try talking to my lawyer then? Let's see how tough you really are. They eat wimps like you for breakfast. So try not to be too abusive, okay? You could get in some serious trouble. You just might even get sued. You're trying to change the topic. Stop running away from the real issue. Give me back my family. No. I said I'll protect them. You're never seeing them again. That's my family. You have no right sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. The only family is Alice, Rachel, and the baby. They don't need you. Alice said it herself. Rachel is trying to protect the baby, and Alice is trying to protect Rachel. So I will protect them as well. That is the least I can do. You were supposed to protect your family, but you hurt them instead.
After that, Rachel was discharged from the hospital and took refuge in a shelter. They thoroughly protected her personal information, and Kyle wasn't able to find her. After ensuring her safety, I introduced her to my lawyer, and she then began to consult with him about her divorce with Kyle. In the end, Kyle lost custody of Alice and was forced to pay alimony. We were able to arrange for her and Alice's things to be collected from Kyle's house. Kyle will probably never see his wife or child ever again. That was all the punishment he received from his wife. When she was done, it was my turn to go after him. I still feel hurt that he tricked me, and I still felt guilty about being involved in the affair. Afterwards, I contacted Kyle's workplace. It was just a regular business call. I've worked with his company before, so I could still get work without going through Kyle. I was contracted for a new project, and the employee in charge of it was a lady who was a bit talkative. I ended up telling her the whole story of the affair and how I ended up breaking off the engagement. I'm pretty sure Kyle's reputation within the company started to tank after that. I heard he's already being left out to dry by the company, and he's starting to lose his place. I blocked his number and unfollowed him on all my social media. Outside of that, he hasn't even tried to contact me indirectly. I also received a message that Rachel safely delivered her baby boy. She told me that his name is Luke. With the help of an employee from the shelter and her lawyer, she was able to find a small apartment in a different town with the alimony from Kyle. She's even invited me over for dinner once things get settled. She's a very sweet and lovely person. I cannot wait to meet little Luke. She's thanked me countless times by now, but the one who really deserves the praise is Alice. I don't think I've ever seen a 10-year-old do such an amazing thing by herself. I'm sure she'll be a wonderful big sister. Anyone will be lucky to have Alice as a daughter. For all they've been through, I really hope they both live happy lives from now on.